Hey guys, how you doing? Um, I was trying to rush around and get ready on time for this uh, this video tonight. And of course, uh, everybody knows. Well, most of you probably know. I'm a huge car person, and uh, we got a new car, and I'm just absolutely in love. And it doesn't help when you watch drag racing on TV because then you want to go out drag racing. So I'm trying to, you know, like. <sighs> compress. Let's talk about oils. And of course, you know, I'm thinking engine oil and everything else. Yeah, I love cars way too much. <laughs> Been a passion of mine ever since I was a kid. So let's talk about essential oils. This one, um, this is awesome. I am really, really ready to, you know, to jump in this and dive in and everything. And I'm giving everybody a few moments you know, to get on. And if you're not, if you're going to watch the replay, just please, you know, like the video, share it. Because this one is going to be really, really informational packed. This one, I think, out of all the ones that I've done, I'm getting better and better each and every time. I'm, I mean, I do videos constantly, but I will actually record them and then go back and redo whatever I need to do. So this is live. We all know what happens on live TV. Anything goes. Um, with that, I am going to have any questions, you know, that you may have. I'm going to answer those afterwards. I'm going to go through and, as always, give you my information and all that lovely good stuff. So, let's get started. With what I have put on as the list of the theme for tonight is, hey, Christine, um, what was I saying? Sorry, I got sidetracked by you. Um, what I was saying tonight for the theme is that I want you to really look into your medicine cabinet and really, really look at all of the medicines that you have in there. We have been so inundated by the pharmaceutical companies, by advertising, you know, the whole nine yards. You need this product for this. You need this product for this. You need this product for this. I mean, there's just so much out there. You probably have at least, at least, hey, hey, 20 products. I guarantee you, at least. So you're thinking of all those different things, and you need to really, really dig deep. Have you researched all those ingredients? Have you looked at all what is in those? Have you looked and see on... Um, the websites of the FDA approved? Have you looked at the ones for the clinical studies? Have you looked at for the environmental friendly products? I mean, a lot of it, you know, it's one of those things where we don't have time to research, so we really rely on the TV and the commercials. So, yeah, with that. <clears throat> now, how I'm going to do this, I am not going to tell you what it's for. I'm just going to give you the product name because Young Living does not promote of giving you information for diagnosing and stuff like that. Your doctor does that. We don't do that. Um, what I'm going to give you is the product name and I'm going to give you basically the body sy systems that it is there for. Sorry if it keeps going out with a light. I, you can see my windows right there, and I have the light above me, so it's kind of like playing with each other. I, like my hair tonight, it's just it's the slick back mom look. Been busy ever since I got home. Um, so with that said, let's get into it. I have my notes right here, and was doing this over the course of last week, and I finished up my notes tonight, and wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, so let's go into your respiratory respiratory and your circulatory systems um okay you need something thank you you need something um you know Vicks vapor rug we all rub it on our chest we know how it smells but do you know what's in it petroleum jelly do you know what petroleum jelly is petroleum petrol as the british say they don't say gas they say petrol Love the way they speak over there. But, yeah, that's basically what it is. It's the bottom of the barrel scrape goo, goo, and they use it, they refine it, they clean it, and they do a whole bunch of stuff. So petroleum jelly is a very occlusive. In other words, it stays on top of the skin. It's a huge molecule. It stays on top of the skin so it doesn't soak in. So anything that's with it 
stays there or takes a very, very long time to get into the body. <clears throat> so with that, you're allowing a huge amount of chemicals to slowly trickle into your body and just take its time with you. So with that, with Vicks Vapor Rub, you can replace with Young Living products. You can take coconut oil, eucalyptus, lemon, peppermint, lavender, make your own Vicks Vapor Rub. Um, let's go to, in which, you know, obviously I need to start taking some of my oils because my sinuses are killing me. Um, let's go with products such as Robitussin, Mucinex, Delsum, um, Tylenol, Cold, Therapy, Zycam, um, Robitussin, Dayquil. So let's go over those. <clears throat> you can take lemon, tea tree, frankincense, oregano, thieves, RC, orange, helichrysum, honey, clove, black spruce, breathe again, which is a blend, purification, which is a blend, sniffles, which is a blend that's geared for children, and believe it or not, my absolutely favorite of all blends besides purification is Christmas spirit. It's not just for smelling the season. So with all of those, you have a huge amount that you can cover right there. You can replace so many of your products. And that is all for, you know, respiratory and circulatory system. Okay, well, how about this? Let's replace your Zyrtec, your Claritin, your Allegra, your Flonase, uh, Peppermint, Fennel, Eucalyptus Blue, Lavender, Okatee, frankincense, German chamomile, and the list was going on and on and on. I just, I couldn't write every single oil down. And it's amazing the different things that you think of. Like, I would have never thought of that. You know, I, I'm going to go over the history because it is amazing. If you really know the history of essential oils, it will kind of give you the reference of what's going on now with essential oils. So that's for your respiratory and circulatory system. How about your digestive system? That's always my biggie right there, digestive, because, you know, with all the issues that I have, I always want something to make sure my digestive system is working as good as it could be to its optimum level. So if you're having to take some Tums or Pepto-Bismol, Imodium, Mylanta, Pepid, I think it's called uh, Pepsid. There we go. I got it right. So again, you would take Peppermint. Digize, Tummy Gize, which is another children's blend that, of course, adults can take too. Vam, Valor, Roman Chamomile, Lavender, Marjoram, Peace and Calming, Spearmint, Jade Lemon, Gentle Baby, and again, the list on and on and on. Gentle Baby is one I did not too long ago for the oil of the week, and that was phenomenal. You can also take uh, Gentle Baby and use it in place of Desitin. So, that'll be really good. <clears throat> so, those are all ones. Um, mints are very good for the digestive system. Spearmint, peppermint, um, wintergreens. Um, they're really, really good. So, with those products, I mean, it's Tums, Pepto-Bismol, Imodium. It's all covering the digestive system from beginning to end. Just like your respiratory system and your circulatory system of the products, it's all from here to, you know, here of the, your respiratory. I mean, this is where, you know, everything starts. Um, nervous muscular system, the circulatory system. Um, let's go for Aspercream or Capsian. Those right there are some products that I know that are in a lot of homes and you have wintergreen, nutmeg, veveter, paleo santo, cool azul, deep relief, which is a uh, huge blend that it comes in a bottle and it also comes in a roll-on so that is you know you can take it with you and it's already boom in a roll-on so you don't have to worry about you know blending it yourself. Uh, Panaway, my one of my staples at home and in my business, <clears throat> excuse me, Pine, yes, pine, like pine tree, and German chamomile. So with those, you have your wintergreen. So wintergreen is more of um, a good sensation for smell, but this is a very cooling 
like any of your mints, but that one's a very, very cooling, so it has a very nice soothing sensation to your musculars and to your nervous system. So that right there is really good. Um, if you work out, uh, you're sore, you had a weekend out in the um, yard and you did a little too much, or you're just starting out working out again, kind of like me, and you live on Icy Hot or Bengay or Tiger Balm, um, Abf, live on that. <clears throat> so with those products, you can replace and use your essential oils of peppermint, cobayiba, lavender, cool azul, pan away, deep relief, relieve it, which is another blend, orthosport massage oil, which I use in my massage business, and ortho ease massage oil. Those two, sport and ease, have just a couple of differences in them. Uh, I use the sport. And that's really good for clients who come in who are really just having a hard time with their muscular system or who just want some, you know, good warming, tingling sensation to their muscular, muscular system. I can't talk tonight. <clears throat> um, okay, let's go with, you know, your skin. That would be part of your nervous and circulatory system. So you're thinking of Neosporin, Aquaphor, your Destitin. Um, sorry about that. Hold on. There we go. Get rid of that so you don't see that. <clears throat> um, Neosporin and Aquaphor, um, Destitin. So you can actually use lavender, tea tree, hy hy helichrysum, Durando Azul, which I'm I'm going to be doing that one soon because I've been reading a lot about that and I'm very, very curious, so I want to learn more. It is something that's been recently discovered down, I want to say in it's in Ecuador. So it's something that's been really, really interesting to me and I, I become like my husband where I research stuff to death. So yeah, um, frankincense, thieves, purification, Stress Away, Peace and Calming, Owie, which is another um, children's blend. So that one's actually really good, too. Um, Deep Relief, Cool Azul, and Stress Away. All to replace your Neosporin and Aquaphor. So you're looking at so many different ones that you can use just to replace one. And it's better for you. No toxins. No other ingredients. No chemicals that you have to worry about putting on your skin. And the last one that I wrote down um, for your nervous uh, muscular circulatory system, which I know a lot of people take on a daily basis, is Tylenol, Naproxen, and Ibuprofen. We all have those. Those are staples in people's homes. I have been trying very, very hard to break away from that habit because Ibuprofen is not good for your digestive system. It is very, very... Well, we know that ibuprofen is good. It thins out the blood. So when you have a digestive system like I do, when you have those problems, it's not good. So I need to stay away from ibuprofen. And Tylenol doesn't work for me at all. So when I use my favorite one, which is on the list, is called Panaway. And um, I'm in love with it. It's one of the best oils, in my opinion. It is a staple. I have to order it every single month in my Essential uh, Awards, my wellness box order monthly. It is in there constantly, that and Copaiba, because that is for digestive as well. So, with Tylenol, Naproxen, and Ibuprofen, it's lavender, peppermint, wintergreen, M grain, as in Mary dash grain, like grain of sand. So, M grain, thieves, pan away. And there's just so much more. And there's so many different blends. You have <sighs> Deep Relief, Relieve It, um, a bunch of different ones. But you've got to stop and think, what's the theme there? I once I kept saying, and I was looking at it, and I'm, you know, I, I wrote it down. All the ones that reoccurred. Every single system, every single product had a reoccurring oil. And I know you guys are not keeping up with it. So I wrote it down. And the reoccurring theme is peppermint, lemon, frankincense, lavender, thieves, purification, digize, copaiba, RC, pan away, and stress away. 
Do you realize all those are in your essential, in your premium starter kit? Every single one of those. Plus, you get a, an extra oil out of it. Every single one of those are in your kit. So with that right there, you can replace, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven products. Twenty-seven. Say that one more time. Twenty-seven products with 11 essential oils, 11, 27 products. I wish I had a microphone. I could just drop that right there. You know, it is one of those things where you are getting rid of the chemicals that are in it. Whatever is not approved by the FDA. I mean, in my nose, there is what? No, 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 no. I know I have them here where you have, there we go. You have over 185,000 known chemicals that are used in products today. Less than 15% are approved by the FDA. Less than 15%. Now, granted, I know you can't control everything that you're exposed to. I know that you're trying really, really hard. I, you know, it was a, a theme Everybody's like organic and green and we're doing this and we're doing that. Everybody, I keep sliding here. Sorry about that. Everybody is trying to jump on the bandwagon. And I'm not telling you to jump on the bandwagon. I'm not telling you to go with a trend, be a trend sender. I'm telling you just to change your life. Tr start trusting better ingredients. Start reading the labels. If you're not already doing it, you need to start you need to look at, you know, everybody's like, well, I read my food labels. You need to read every single label that you put on your body. You need to read your makeup, your soap, your hair products. I work with a lot of cosmetologists, and I'm telling you, the things that I have learned that are not good for your hair, it is scary what is available over the counter. Absolutely frightening. And these products, the government says, oh, yeah. Okay, well, you have two ingredients that are approved, so yeah, you can use that. How scary is that? That is ridiculous. So you're sitting there less than 15%, and you have 26 products, 27 products that I just told you that you can replace with 11 different oils. I know what I would choose. That's because I've been doing this for a long time, and I'm still learning. I don't know it all. I learn a lot, and when I learn, I share with you guys. I've... God, I have probably about 20 different aromatherapy. I have um, 20 books of essential oils, aromatherapy, um, natural healing, you know, blah, blah, blah. I mean, there's so many different things that we can learn from essential oils. So many things. We have so many different systems. You have your skeletal. You have your muscular. You have your circulatory. You have your nervous. You have uh, the other ones that I'm forgetting right now. But it's amazing all 11 essential oils for all these body systems no chemicals it's been going on for years absolute years i know i've read um the research of my notes of what i've had before talking about you know the history of essential oils and I was reading back through my old notes that I did for a video of on my YouTube of aromatherapy and I'm telling you the history you really need to know your history of essential oils it dates back over 4,000 years ago from the Chinese they were the first to use for a well-being they were the first ones to really really start using essential oils on a daily basis bases for their body systems to feel better. Egyptians invented the first distillation process to create perfumed oils. They still have a recipe that a people use still to this day. To this day, the oldest recipe known is from the Egyptians and people are still using it to this day. A lot of, believe it or not, a lot of your um, cosmetic companies use variances of that recipe. I should tell you something. 
Um, the Greeks took it farther into medical use, thanks to Hippocrates, the father of medicine. Uh, Romans wrote the first book. The 13th century used it as pharmaceuticals. The 14th century used uh, essential oils to combat the plague. Hence the reason why we have thieves oil. Everybody knew back then that certain, certain essential oils will help protect your body against the different things. So the law actually went over these grave robbers and like, okay, we'll just wipe clean and not look at what you have going on and what you're doing if you just tell us how you're not dying from robbing those. And so they told him, and hence the, cre the creation of thieves oil. So, I mean, that right there is amazing in itself, you know, and it wasn't really too long after that that people stopped. I don't want to say stopped. You had more and more people trying to go into pharmaceutical. And the reason why I use quotation marks is because at that time, a lot of people were thinking that man-made synthetics were far superior to what you find out in nature. So with that, they started doing more and more and more, thinking that, you know, man was this superior thing, then we knew it all and killed a lot of people in the process of researching that. So it kind of fell out of using essential oils, except for the perfume world. That was the only area that they stayed. So with that, a lot of them just stopped being used or the art of knowing how to use them was lost. So it wasn't until the 20th century when we kind of rediscovered essential oils and the rise of the Western medicine into, you know, the 21st century. So you figure a lot of what we know is from the Greeks and Romans. A lot of what we know about essential oils today is still based on the Greeks and Romans doing their research. So that's a long time ago. So we're, we still have a lot to learn with a new one uh, that I was talking about. The, um, what was it? The Durand, Durando Azul. That has been newly discovered. It was considered a weed. Considered a weed down in South America. And people, I, I don't know the history of that one. I haven't researched that one yet. But they're starting to use it in different products. And um, it's an essential oil that is a, a must have now from what I've been hearing. So you're sitting there, okay, there you are. Your theme, your continuing theme of essential oils of the 11 different ones, that's in your kit. You get a kit. You try going out and buy all 27 of those products and tell me if that does not come out to $160, if not more. So you can get there and you can get 11 different essential oils and an extra you also get samples of the Ninja Red, which I did not include that in that list because that Ninja Red is an antioxidant drink that has amazing properties to it. And you use it for every single body system. Use it every single day. I'm telling you, you'll see a difference. I have felt a difference in my body. I have seen a difference in the mirror. And I'm telling you, it tastes really good. You only need that about that much. It's an ounce, twice a day, morning, night. That's it. That's all you need. You get two samples of that. Um, and they're coming in little pouches. So that the ounce that I'm saying, it comes in a beautiful bottle. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about that in a minute. Um, but you have that. And there's just so much that comes in that kit. Plus you get a free diffuser. You get to pick what diffuser that you want. Now the 160 is the do up diffuser and that's just your plain Jane. I wish I had my picture of it, but I'll post a picture in the comments so you can see it. But it's a plain Jane. It's very nice. It's very simple, very easy to use. You don't have to worry about it. And that that's your kit right there. Plus you get a bunch of, you know, of a wellness letter every month. You get a book of the season. Mine was in the winter, so it had a lot of great present ideas. It had a lot of winter ideas. Um, preparing your body for the winter and getting ready to, you know, to spring for and blah, 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 stuff like that. So that in itself is amazing. And it's only $160. And I keep repeating that because I want you to understand essential oils, a good, good grade of essential oils. You have grade A, B, C, D. Grade A, which all Young Living is, 
is all grade A oils are what Young Living puts out. That's the only one that they do. And they are therapeutic made from organically grown plants and distilled at low temperatures. Because if you distill high to low when you're distilling for your essential oils, you ruin it. You don't have the genetic compound that you need to say that is a pure therapeutic grade oil. That right there, you have to know what the heck you're doing to distill it. You can't just go out and, you know, get your little beaker set and this, that, and the other and think you're going to do it yourself. It is, let me tell you what, it is amazing. I cannot wait. I have three more ranks to go before I can actually go to the farm because when you make a certain rank in Young Living, you actually get a free trip to go see the uh, the farms and the fields and see how they distilled. I'm so looking forward to that. Oh my gosh, I want to walk through the lavender fields. I want to smell. I could just imagine standing there, because I used to have lavender at my old house, and I so miss it. I couldn't imagine having acres and acres and acres of lavender, and you're just standing there, purple as far as you could see. <laughs> that would be awesome. But anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Sorry. <laughs> I do that often. People who know me, they know that. But grade A oils are really, really good, and you have to know how to distill them properly. Grade B are usually your, you know, food oils, or they can contain synthetics. They can contain chemicals, pesticides, because they're not properly taken care of. Your grade C are your perfume oils, so they have a lot of different chemicals in them, and they're not absolutely pure because they have solvents in them. And solvents they use to grab more of the oil from it so they're stripping it and they're stripping a lot of other things with it so they are usually an 80 to 95 percent alcohol to anywhere from five to three percent of actual essential oil if it's a real essential oil it's probably just a smell grade d is your floral waters you've heard of people talk about rose water and stuff like that those are basically what they are is, a, you know, waters and they're aromatic and they add them to the other grades of oils to make a therapeutic grade oil. So they're trying to do whatever they can to take the cheap way out to make a product that smells fantastic, but has absolutely no benefits to it whatsoever. So you're putting something on your skin that still has chemicals, that has pesticides, that has a bunch of crap that you don't need to put on your skin. So you figure out what grade you want. You figure out if you want to change over your products, if you want to know what's exactly in your product, or do you want to just say, eh, I think I'll be okay. I'm at a loss. It's... Again, what I was saying before, it's it's not a no-brainer. It's, we all got to change our lives. Cancer runs in my family. It's taking two of my family members. I have a very high risk because I was exposed a lot when I was a kid. Very high risk. And, of course, with having Crohn's, my risk of having colon cancer is 50%. 50. Scares the shit out of me every day. And that's why I'm trying desperately to change my life, to be healthier, to do everything that I can to make a difference in my life. So with that said, I really want to know if you guys, if you have any questions, are, are, you, are you confused? Ask me. Are you still, eh, I don't know. Talk to me. It's not easy to start. Everyone's like, well, yeah, I don't have $160 that I could just throw out. Of course, no one does. But if you can go out and buy all those products, if you can continue to buy things, why don't you just save up your money and buy the kit? You don't have to sell because that's the next thing that everybody says. Well, I don't want to sell. I'm not asking you to sell. I'm not telling you to sell. I'm telling you to use them for yourself, for your family. You have a baby. You're using desitin on your baby. Do you know what's in that? You can make something. It is astronomical to think of the companies out there that are just now coming out knowing and saying that we're sorry, that we deceived the public, that we are, um, <laughs> sorry, that we are deceiving the public, that we are not 
were using inferior products. Some very well-known children's brands came out and were known to cause cancer. That scared the living crap out of me because they were my favorite products using on my kids when they were younger. That's before I really started, you know, making my own stuff. It really does scare me. I want a world that is so much better for my kids to pass it on, to show them how easy it is to incorporate essential oils. Now, everybody, when they get in, they're like, well, those essential oils are really expensive. Well, you pay for what you get for. So you have to look at it that way. So a little five mil bottle has probably about 80 to 100 drops in it. Your 15 mil bottles, I think, have 100 to 200, depending on how many drops that you use. A 5 mil bottle, I have to buy once a month because I use it way too much. 15 usually lasts me about two months. If I'm, like, purification, I use it in my laundry, I use it to clean my bathroom. Um, my thieves cleaner, I use to clean everything. That's the one I made for you guys. And now I'm starting to ramble. So, anyway... Do you have any questions or do you have anything like that? Um, talk to me on here. I'd be more than happy to answer them right now. Um, if not, I will get back to you if this is already ended. Just to let you know, I do have another one that's coming up. And that's talking about what's in your box. And we're talking about monthly boxes that are, you know, everybody does now. I'm also going to do another uh, class. But this one's going to be pre-recorded where I'm going to teach you how to make a few things. They tell you in the Young Living, don't do take and makes because everybody wants to just buy what you have and not do anything with it. But I'm going to teach you how to use your kit and make very simple things that we use on a daily basis. So be um, watching for that one. And if you guys want to host your own, I can give you more information. Host your own. If you already um, are on my books, I really appreciate it. If you're not, let's get you on the book. If you don't want to do a class, if you don't want people in your home, I totally get it. Let's have coffee. I love coffee. Love it. Let's go have some coffee. Let's go talk about oils. I just I just want to what's better for your life. I just want to make your life healthier. Because if I can do it, anybody can do it. Trust me. I am one of those type of people that learn everything the hard way. I have to do it wrong a few times before I get it right. That's me. Always do that. So anyway... I am Dominique. I don't know if I said that in the beginning, so hi. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything, if you don't want to post it on here, send me a message. I'd be more than happy to. So I'm going to put my link to Young Living on here so you can look around. I am also going to put the kit so you can look at that, and I will put prices. That is also on the link if you want to. I'm really, really glad that you guys got on. I appreciate so much. You guys are awesome. If you don't have any questions, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. So thank you so much for letting me talk your ear off. And I um, really like this one. This is one of the ones that, uh, to me, was a huge game changer. It really opened my eyes, and I hope it did you as well. So if no one has any questions, go once, go twice, no. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great night and have a great week.